<laughs> okay, Hamish is joining us now, and should we be worried about Alex? I've not seen him for a while. Has he been in some DIY disaster or something? He's been on holidays, and now I believe he's in Sydney with work. Right, oh, with work. Nice. <laughs> yes, with work. Quote, work. I'm not there. No, I messaged him up and said, we'll be seeing you today. Uh, and I got, no, I'm in Sydney. And I went, that's fine. You've got it. I'm here. I've got it covered. It's called uh, get out of jail free cards. He owes you now. I, had, I hadn't looked at it like that, yeah. but I'm going to from now on. <laughs> so today we're talking coffee tables. We coffee are. Coffee tables you can do yourself. That's right. So, um, I mean, I typically um, prefer not to have coffee tables out in front. I like to have side tables, so I'm, I'm going a little bit off my regular beaten mm -hmm. path here. We're doing coffee tables. I've actually built some of these myself. Wow. Yes. Okay, okay. I, I don't know, believe No that. man involved yet. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay, so first up, we're going to talk about something really simple. We're going to make a coffee table using pallets. Now, we wow. all know pallets. You can pick them up for free if you try. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to ask before you take them. Don't just whip them off from the building site. <laughs> you know, we're not encouraging theft. Couple of pallets stacked on top, fixed to each other, and yes. then with caster wheels fitted underneath. I yeah. love, I love the look. It's great. And do you know what I like about um, these coffee tables is I can put my dirty, smelly feet up on these. <laughs> you can. Yeah. And not feel They're guilty. Not too flat. You want to dress them up? You can put glass on the top. That's mm -hmm. obviously going to cost you. I mean, the pallets are free. Caster wheels for decent ones. You know, if you get um, larger retro ones, they, they, I mean, they, they can cost you sixty, seventy dollars a caster wheel. So. Pick and choose carefully, but that's up to you how much you want to spend. Glass on the top is going to be a couple of hundred dollars by the time you get that cut. Right. We're seeing some fantastic um, shots. What is this one? That's obviously okay, a well, that's got, table. That's got some old sort of, you know, um, iron kind of looking wheels. Yeah, that looks cool. I, I love that. that. That's I clearly it. not a pallet. That is when someone's actually bought timber, <laughs> cut it to length. So we see how we're advancing slightly here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I'm, one requires a saw. Really? I, I've yeah. got visions of you in junkyards finding all of this stuff. Is that where you get it from? Yeah, and once upon a time, yes. But these days you can get reproduction wheels and all sorts of things. So all you've got to do is go in places like Knobs and Knockers. Look around, you know, at mm. your local wholesalers for bits and pieces. What's your next pick? You've got different looks next as Next well. pick. Okay, now we're going to go for... Uh, I made this one. Uh, well, not this one in the picture, but I have made this. This is an old cable drum. Right. You know, the stuff that you oh. see electricians use? Once again, they tend to throw these out. You can ask for them. As stated previously, don't flog it, ask for it. Simple idea. You put caster wheels on the bottom. You don't get um, castering wheels. So I know it sounds stupid, but right. the ones that move around, you want the fixed ones. That way, when you put them on the bottom and you drill your dowels through, you can rotate the coffee table around Ooh, and you put clever. your books, you know, coffee table books. Wow. We all have too many of those for the top yeah, of the coffee table. No corners, so no your kids corners. don't hit their head on the no, corner. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a side table, too. We kind of like that. So it sits there. You can rotate it around. How you want to finish it, up to you. Right. OK? I like to give them, like, a whitewash. I'm not such a fan of them being in the natural timber, even though the natural timber is, quote, on trend. Nice work. You've like done a good job of them. OK, and what if you're not into that sort of rustic wooden style? What have you got? Well, now we move to next level. Now, this could be a case of getting a man, but you can do this with a rivet gun and, you know, a battery drill and some drill bits. So this is using aluminium. So you can use aluminium right angle to make the corners. You can buy that in varying grades. Oh, I love that. It's dearer. Oh, now we've moved on what to my favourite. Okay, this is the tailplane of a DC-3. Right. Okay, okay. so <laughs> this is using old aeroplane parts. Now, people go, where would one find such a thing? If you actually go out to some of the aviation places out, say, around Arbor or your local airfield, there are junk out of time pieces. Once again, if they're leaning up outside the building, do not steal right. them <laughs> because they may be going somewhere. But if you ask, you can get, and um, it requires polishing, but you may need someone to make legs for you. Can I trade you in for my husband? He doesn't even know what a hammer is. <laughs> Darn tooting. <laughs> Always keen to help. Awesome. Nice work. Well, I really loved all the options that you've got there. Is yeah. that it? We're all done. That's it. Nice. Good work. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they are some great-looking projects here.